Dies ei makaa, me ei koama. Dies ei makaa. Good day. This time we are doing something different from my book Forgotten Tracks and Trails. It's based on this book, Jock of the Bushveld, written by Percy Fitzpatrick way back in 1907. One of the places that he described in his book was Paradise Camp, situated close to Graskop. While I did my research, I came across this little booklet written by Kutsius Simmons and Knutze, called In Fitzpatrick's Footsteps, or Jock of the Bushveld's Paradise Camp. They had, in 1988, claimed that they had found Paradise Camp and produced this booklet, as well as erecting a cairn at the edge of the mountain, close to Graskop. But subsequent research by myself, Duncan Ballantyne and Lucas Hoogerman has proven them wrong. This is the story. The pathfinders of the Lofeld Diggers and Transport Riders Society published two booklets as well as this colourful map of Jock the Bushveld. They based the location of Paradise Camp on four main finds. Note on how close to the cliff they sighted the camp. Simmons used these 1935 aerial photos of possible ruts still visible. The bathing pool is some 650 meters from the camp. The stone ledges have ostensibly been broken off. A stone marker was placed at the site of their camp, later on replaced by members of Mpumalanga heritage. With the help of modern drone technology and Google Earth, it is now possible to again try to locate Paradise Camp. From his diaries, Close below us was the bathing pool, with its 20 feet of purest water, its three rock ledge springboards, and its banks of moss and canopies of tree ferns. In the diaries he notes, We had a bathe in the big pool, which implies that there were two pools. Note the canopies of tree ferns. When you look closely, you can see the rock ledge springboards which he mentioned. from Jock of the Bushveld. Further down the stream spread in a thousand pools and rapids over a mile of black bedrock and then poured the broad sheet of the Hraskop Falls. Graskop Falls in the Mutitsi River. From Jock of the Bushveld. Paradise Camp stood at the edge of the cliff where the nearest timber grew. Let us take a walk to where they did their tree felling and pole slipping.
from the diary. George and I went off to the bush pretty early to have a look for a large log for Chester. There is still a large yellow wood when one enters the forest. Not far in, there was a sawpit where the larger logs were ripsawed. One can still clearly see the remaining ruts of the pole slipping. From Jock of the Bushveld. Tumbling waters, we stood the thousand grey sandstone sentinels of strange fantastic shape, was a couple of miles away, facing the black bluff the highest point of all. Black Bluff was the highest point visible from the vicinity of the camp. The sandstone sentinels are below Black Bluff. The hen and the camel, the wolf, and the seahorse. Fantastic shapes all carved by nature's hand. Looking west from the sandstone sentinels towards Hraskop and Paradise Camp. From the diary. Springville took the first two round the edge of the berg for views. The weather changes very rapidly in Hraskop and they needed some form of protection. There is a small hillock to the east of the camp which would have protected them from the worst. There were several huts at Paradise Camp, and this probably formed the nucleus of a settlement. It had to be close to the road from Pilgrim's Rest and Macmac, and the transport riders, diggers and their retainers all stayed at this camp. I took a view of the camp with one wagon in span this morning, and after that did one of Springle and Sievright at their hut. The last vital clue from his diary dated Friday 10th April. I carefully took a towel with me so that after I had done my 400 yards walk, I brought it back about as damp as myself. From the diaries we know that Paradise Camp was distinct from Hraskop. The 200 to 400 yards mark from the bathing pool. The exact location of Paradise Camp will probably never be known. But Paradise Camp probably formed the nucleus of this later settlement. Or maybe it formed part of today's cemetery. Mm -hmm.